Hey, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Let's talk about something that touches every single one of us, our emotions. Now, emotions are like the weather, sometimes sunny, sometimes stormy. The key is learning how to control that weather. If we want to succeed in life, we must master our emotions rather than let them master us. Emotional control is not just about keeping a stiff upper lip. It's about making conscious choices. As I often say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, I'd add that you are also the average of the emotions you allow to take the lead in your life. Are you surrounding yourself with positive emotions or are you letting negativity drag you down? When we experience a surge of emotion, whether it's anger, anxiety, or excitement, our first instinct might be to react immediately. This is completely natural emotions or instinctive responses to our environment. However, it's crucial to understand that our reactions can often lead to unintended consequences. This is where the practice of pausing and reflecting comes into play. Taking a moment to pause can change the trajectory of our emotional responses dramatically. When you feel a strong emotion rising, take a deep breath. Inhale slowly through your nose, hold it for a few seconds, and then exhale gently through your mouth. This simple act can create a crucial gap between the feeling and your reaction. It's a moment of mindfulness that allows you to step back, observe what you're feeling, and consider how you want to respond. During this pause, ask yourself some key questions. What exactly am I feeling right now? Why am I feeling this way? Is this feeling based on facts or perceptions? Often emotions can be fueled by misunderstandings or assumptions that we make in the heat of the moment. By taking a step back, you can assess the situation more clearly and avoid a reaction that you might regret later. Moreover, this pause allows you to tap into your rational mind. Emotions can cloud our judgment, leading us to make hasty decisions that we might not consider under calmer circumstances. For instance, if you receive critical feedback at work and feel a surge of defensiveness, a moment of reflection can help you choose a more constructive response. Instead of reacting with anger or frustration, you can acknowledge the feedback, assess its validity, and respond thoughtfully. This not only helps in resolving the immediate situation, but also fosters a culture of openness and growth. Taking a pause also opens the door to better communication. When emotions run high, conversations can quickly spiral into misunderstandings and conflict. By allowing yourself to reflect before responding, you can choose your words more carefully. This thoughtful approach not only clarifies your own thoughts, but also allows you to communicate more effectively with others. You become more capable of expressing your feelings in a way that invites dialogue rather than confrontation. In addition to enhancing interpersonal relationships, this practice can lead to personal growth. Each time you pause and reflect, you create an opportunity to learn more about yourself. You may discover patterns in your emotional responses or identify situations that consistently trigger certain feelings. This self-awareness is invaluable. It empowers you to make intentional changes in your life. Over time, you might notice that you become less reactive and more proactive, leading to healthier emotional habits. It's important to remember that this process takes practice. It's not about suppressing your emotions. It's about managing them wisely. In the beginning, it may feel unnatural or challenging to pause in the moment. However, with time and consistency, it will become a more instinctive response. As you develop this skill, you'll find that you're better equipped to handle life's ups and downs. You'll learn to navigate emotional challenges with greater ease, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Ultimately, the power lies in your hands. By embracing the pause, you can take control of your emotional landscape and steer your life toward a more positive and productive path. Understanding your emotional triggers is a crucial step in mastering emotional control. We all have specific situations, people, or environments that provoke strong emotional responses, and recognizing these triggers can empower you to manage your reactions more effectively. The process begins with self-awareness, being honest with yourself about what elicits certain feelings. Take a moment to reflect on the last time you felt a strong emotion. Was it anger during a disagreement with a friend? Anxiety before a big presentation? Joy when receiving good news? Each of these feelings is often linked to specific triggers. For instance, you might feel anxious in high pressure situations, or perhaps you become defensive when your efforts are criticized. Identifying these patterns can help you gain insights into your emotional landscape. Once you've recognized your triggers, you can start to analyze them. 
Ask yourself questions like, what is it about this situation that bothers me? Is it a fear of failure, a sense of injustice, or perhaps a feeling of inadequacy? Understanding the underlying reasons for your emotional responses is key to addressing them effectively. This self-exploration can lead to profound realizations about your values, beliefs, and even past experiences that shape your current reactions. As you delve deeper into your triggers, consider journaling your observations. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you process your emotions more clearly. You might notice patterns over time that highlight specific triggers that arise in various contexts, be it work, relationships, or social settings. This practice can not only enhance your self-awareness, but also serve as a roadmap for your emotional responses. Once you have a clearer understanding of your triggers, you can begin to develop strategies to manage them. For example, if you find that certain situations make you feel anxious, consider preparing for those moments in advance. This could involve practicing deep breathing techniques, visualizing success, or even role-playing difficult conversations with a trusted friend. Preparation can provide a sense of control, helping to mitigate anxiety when faced with triggering scenarios. Additionally, consider setting boundaries in situations where you know your triggers are likely to arise. If certain conversations or environments consistently lead to negative emotional responses, it's okay to limit your exposure to them. This doesn't mean avoiding challenges, but rather creating a healthy space where you can navigate your feelings more effectively. Support networks are also vital when it comes to understanding and managing your emotional triggers. Talking about your feelings with friends, family, or a therapist can provide valuable insights. Others can offer perspectives that you might not have considered helping you to see situations in a new light. Sharing your experiences can also foster deeper connections as vulnerability often leads to stronger relationships. Over time, as you practice recognizing and managing your emotional triggers, you will likely notice a shift in how you handle difficult situations. Rather than being at the mercy of your emotions, you will develop a sense of agency. This newfound control will allow you to respond to challenges with a calm and thoughtful demeanor, leading to more constructive outcomes. Understanding your emotional triggers is a powerful tool in your emotional toolkit. It's about turning awareness into action. By actively engaging with your feelings and their sources, you can cultivate resilience and emotional intelligence. This journey may not always be easy, but the rewards enhance relationships, improve mental well-being, and a greater sense of peace are undoubtedly worth the effort. Practicing gratitude is one of the most effective tools for transforming your emotional landscape. In a world often focused on negativity and challenges, cultivating a mindset of gratitude can shift your perspective and enhance your overall well-being. Gratitude is not merely a fleeting feeling, it's a conscious practice that requires intention and commitment. When you make a habit of recognizing and appreciating the good in your life, you create a powerful counterbalance to negative emotions. To begin this practice, start by setting aside a few moments each day to reflect on what you are grateful for. This can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal. Every morning or evening, jot down three to five things you appreciate, whether they are big or small. It could be something as profound as a supportive friend or as simple as a warm cup of coffee in the morning. By putting your thoughts on paper, you create a tangible record of positivity that you can revisit whenever you need a boost. The beauty of gratitude is that it can change your focus. When faced with challenges or difficult emotions, it's easy to become consumed by what's going wrong. However, by consciously directing your attention to the positives in your life, you begin to rewire your brain. Studies have shown that regularly practicing gratitude can increase feelings of happiness and reduce feelings of depression and anxiety. This is because gratitude encourages a shift from a scarcity mindset where you focus on what you lack to an abundance mindset where you recognize the wealth of experiences and relationships already present in your life. Another powerful way to practice gratitude is through expressing appreciation to others. Take the time to tell someone how much they mean to you, whether it's a friend, family member, or colleague. A heartfelt thank you note, a phone call, or a simple compliment can not only brighten someone else's day, but also enhance your own feelings of connection and joy. This reciprocal nature of gratitude fosters stronger relationships, creating a positive feedback loop that enhances emotional well being for both parties involved. In addition to journaling and expressing gratitude, you can incorporate gratitude into your daily routine. For instance, consider starting or ending your day with a moment of reflection. As you wake up, think of three things you are looking forward to, or as you go to bed, Reflect on three positive experiences from the day. 
This practice can create a sense of closure and appreciation, helping you end your day on a positive note. Mindfulness can also enhance your gratitude practice. By being fully present in the moment, you can more easily recognize the small joys and blessings that often go unnoticed. This could be the laughter of a child, the beauty of nature, or the warmth of the sun on your face. When you cultivate mindfulness, you train your mind to appreciate life's fleeting moments, allowing gratitude to permeate your daily experiences. As you develop your gratitude practice, be patient with yourself. Like any new skill, it takes time and consistency. You may find that some days are easier than others, and that's perfectly normal. The key is to remain committed to the practice, even when it feels challenging. Over time, you will likely notice a significant shift in your emotional state. Challenges may still arise, but with a foundation of gratitude, you'll find it easier to navigate those moments with resilience and a positive outlook. Practicing gratitude is a powerful way to enhance your emotional control. By focusing on the positive aspects of life, expressing appreciation to others, and incorporating gratitude into your daily routine, you can cultivate a more fulfilling and joyful existence. This practice not only enriches your own life, but also strengthens your connections with those around you, creating a ripple effect of positivity that can transform both your emotional landscape and the world you inhabit. 4.0 Mini. Reframing your thinking is a transformative skill that can significantly impact your emotional well-being and overall outlook on life. Often we find ourselves stuck in negative thought patterns, especially when faced with challenges or setbacks. These patterns can create a cycle of despair, anxiety, and frustration. However, by learning to reframe our thoughts, we can shift our perspectives, allowing us to view situations in a more constructive light. To start the process of reframing, it's essential to first recognize when you're experiencing negative thoughts. This awareness is crucial. It acts as the first step toward change. Pay attention to your inner dialogue, especially during difficult moments. Are you telling yourself, I can't do this or I always fail? Identifying these automatic thoughts is key to breaking free from their hold. Once you've recognized a negative thought, the next step is to challenge it. Ask yourself if it's true. What evidence do you have to support this thought? Often negative thoughts are based on assumptions rather than facts. For instance, if you believe you're not good enough for a promotion at work, consider your accomplishments and the positive feedback you've received from colleagues. By examining the validity of your thoughts, you can begin to dismantle the negativity. After challenging a negative thought, try to replace it with a more positive or realistic perspective. Instead of thinking, I always fail, you might reframe it to, I've faced challenges before, and I've learned valuable lessons from them. This shift in language can alter your emotional response to the situation. By focusing on growth and resilience, you empower yourself to approach challenges with a more constructive mindset. It can also be helpful to think in terms of possibilities rather than limitations. When faced with an obstacle, ask yourself what options are available. This proactive approach encourages problem solving and fosters a sense of agency. Instead of feeling trapped by a situation, you begin to see pathways forward. For example, if you're overwhelmed by a project, rather than thinking, I can't handle this, you might consider, what steps can I take to make this more manageable? Visualizing success is another powerful tool in reframing your thoughts. Take a moment to imagine a positive outcome for the situation at hand. Picture yourself successfully navigating the challenge and the feelings of accomplishment that follow. This practice can help you build confidence and reduce anxiety, making it easier to approach the actual situation with a positive mindset. Additionally, gratitude can play a significant role in reframing your thoughts. When you find yourself dwelling on what's wrong, consciously shift your focus to what's going well in your life. This could be as simple as appreciating supportive friends or reflecting on personal achievements. By highlighting the positive aspects, you can reduce the weight of negative thoughts and cultivate a more balanced perspective. As you practice reframing, be patient with yourself. This skill takes time and consistent effort to develop. You may find yourself slipping back into negative thinking patterns occasionally, and that's okay. The goal is to create a habit of recognizing and challenging these thoughts whenever they arise. Over time, you'll build a mental resilience that allows you to face challenges with confidence and optimism. Reframing your thinking is a powerful tool for emotional control. By recognizing negative thoughts, challenging their validity, replacing them with positive perspectives, 
and visualizing success, you can transform your emotional responses to life's challenges. This practice not only enhances your emotional well-being, but also empowers you to navigate the complexities of life with greater ease and confidence. As you embark on this journey, remember that every small shift in thinking contributes to a more fulfilling and resilient life. Surrounding yourself with positivity is a fundamental aspect of emotional well-being. The people you interact with, the ideas you engage with, and the environments you inhabit all play a significant role in shaping your emotional landscape. By intentionally curating a positive atmosphere, you can bolster your resilience, enhance your mood, and foster healthier emotional responses. One of the most powerful influences on your emotional state is the company you keep. Relationships have a profound impact on how we feel about ourselves and our lives. Positive relationships, those characterized by support, encouragement, and understanding can uplift your spirits and provide a buffer against negative emotions. Conversely, toxic relationships marked by criticism, negativity, or drama can drain your energy and contribute to feelings of anxiety and sadness. It's essential to evaluate your relationships and determine which ones serve your emotional health and which ones might be holding you back. Start by assessing your close relationships. Who are the five people you spend the most time with? These individuals significantly influence your mindset and emotional state. If you find that certain friends or family members often bring negativity into your life, consider setting boundaries. This doesn't mean you need to cut them out entirely, but limiting your exposure to their negativity can help protect your emotional health. Surrounding yourself with people who inspire, motivate, and support you can lead to more positive experiences and interactions. In addition to personal relationships, the ideas and information you consume daily also shape your emotional state. In today's digital age, we are bombarded with information from various sources, including social media, news outlets, and online platforms. It's vital to be discerning about what you allow into your mind. Constant exposure to negative news, social media drama, or toxic online interactions can create a breeding ground for anxiety and pessimism. Instead, seek out uplifting content books, podcasts, articles, and videos that inspire and educate. By consciously choosing positive sources of information, you can foster a mindset that encourages growth and optimism. Creating a positive environment in your physical space can also have a significant impact on your emotional well-being. Your surroundings influence your mood and mindset, so it's essential to cultivate a space that feels uplifting and comforting. This could involve decluttering your home, incorporating elements of nature, or adding personal touches that bring you joy, such as photos, artwork, or meaningful objects. A harmonious environment can promote relaxation and positivity, making it easier to navigate emotional challenges. Practicing gratitude, as mentioned earlier, is another powerful way to invite positivity into your life. Start each day by reflecting on what you appreciate, whether it's the support of a friend or the beauty of nature. This simple practice can shift your focus away from negativity and help you cultivate a sense of abundance. Over time, gratitude becomes a lens through which you view the world, making it easier to recognize the positive aspects of your life, even amid challenges. Engaging in activities that bring you joy is also essential. Whether it's pursuing a hobby, spending time in nature, or volunteering, make time for activities that fulfill you. These moments of joy can serve as powerful antidotes to stress and negativity, helping to create a well-rounded, positive emotional experience. As you work to surround yourself with positivity, remember that it's an ongoing process. Life will inevitably present challenges and negative experiences, but by fostering a supportive network, consuming uplifting content, and creating a nurturing environment, you can cultivate resilience. Surrounding yourself with positivity is a vital component of emotional control and overall well-being. By evaluating your relationships, being mindful of the information you consume, creating a supportive environment, and engaging in joyful activities, you can enhance your emotional resilience. This intentional approach will empower you to face life's challenges with a more balanced and optimistic perspective, ultimately leading to a richer, more fulfilling life. Taking charge of your life involves embracing the power of emotional control, and it is one of the most empowering steps you can take toward personal growth and fulfillment. In a world filled with uncertainties and challenges, the ability to manage your emotions effectively allows you to navigate life's complexities with confidence and resilience.
This journey begins with a shift in mindset, understanding that while you cannot always control external circumstances, you can control how you respond to them. The first step in taking charge of your life is to acknowledge that you are responsible for your emotional responses. This doesn't mean blaming yourself for your feelings. Rather, it means recognizing that you have the power to influence your reactions. When you accept this responsibility, you begin to cultivate a sense of agency over your emotions. Instead of feeling like a victim of your circumstances, you empower yourself to make conscious choices about how to respond. One effective way to enhance your emotional control is through self-reflection. Take time to assess your feelings and the situations that trigger them. Ask yourself questions like, what emotions do I experience most frequently? Are there patterns in my reactions to certain situations? By understanding the root of your emotions, you can better manage them. This self-awareness is crucial. It allows you to identify areas for improvement and set goals for emotional growth. Once you have a clearer understanding of your emotional triggers, you can develop strategies to manage them effectively. For instance, if you know that public speaking makes you anxious, prepare thoroughly for your presentations. Practice, visualize success, and remind yourself of past achievements. This proactive approach can help reduce anxiety and build confidence, allowing you to approach challenges with a more positive mindset. Another important aspect of taking charge of your life is cultivating resilience. Life will inevitably present obstacles, but resilience allows you to bounce back and learn from setbacks. Embrace a growth mindset, the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort and learning. When faced with challenges, view them as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable barriers. This shift in perspective can help you approach difficulties with curiosity and determination rather than fear and defeat. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network is also crucial for maintaining emotional control. Seek out relationships that uplift and inspire you. These connections can provide encouragement during tough times and celebrate your successes with you. Sharing your experiences with trusted friends or mentors can offer valuable insights and help you process your emotions in a constructive way. Remember, you don't have to face life's challenges alone. In addition to fostering supportive relationships, engaging in self-care practices is essential for emotional well-being. Prioritize activities that nourish your body and mind, whether it's exercise, meditation, reading, or spending time in nature. These practices not only help alleviate stress, but also provide a foundation for emotional resilience. When you take care of yourself physically and mentally, you are better equipped to handle the ups and downs of life. Commit to a mindset of continuous improvement. Embrace the idea that personal growth is a lifelong journey. Set specific, achievable goals for enhancing your emotional control, whether it's practicing mindfulness, improving communication skills, or learning to reframe negative thoughts. Celebrate your progress along the way, no matter how small, and be patient with yourself as you work toward your goals. Taking charge of your life through emotional control is a powerful path to personal empowerment. By accepting responsibility for your emotions, engaging in self-reflection, cultivating resilience, surrounding yourself with positivity, and committing to self-care and continuous improvement, you can navigate life's challenges with confidence. This journey not only enhances your emotional well-being, but also leads to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Embrace the power of emotional control and watch as it transforms your experiences and relationships for the better.